If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community, T1 Listener Elf here. I'm playing another game of Vintage. So real quick, this is the deck I'm rocking, which for some reason the formatting breaks on MTG Goldfish, fitting them on this line like that. Anyway. So yeah, it's, it's very similar to the one I ran last season. It's exactly like the one from the last video on here. Uh, difference is there's a Fatal Push and there are two more Preordains instead of two Plague Stingers and something, uh, plus Spell Pierce is now the Fatal Push. The sideboard's a little different. Fluster Storm, Graft Digger's Cage times four, City in a Bottle, Damping Sphere, Echoing Truth, Hercules Recall, Null Rod, Sorcerer Spyglass, Energy Flux, and Ravenous Trap. And I'll go back through this so that you can pause it if you'd like, because the joys of YouTube, I guess. Ta-da! My opponent is on... This deck is not legal. Hmm. Hmm. Decks contain cards not legal and vintage. Blank. Um... Well, oh, oh, there's something in the sideboard that's missing here. Okay. So let's see, 8, 9, 11, 15, and then there's this. Okay, so it, it's, it's a legal deck, just ignore, ignore that, that doesn't matter. Alright, but anyway, so it is a uh, min Paradoxical Mentor deck. It is running four Paradoxical Outcomes and a whole lot of uh, artifacts. It's running Monastery Mentor and Snapcaster Mage for value. It has a Tinker Blightsteel plan as well, and it's running two Narset Parter of Veils, which is supremely good actually uh, not in this particular meta where untap is right now but in general narset is uh is kind of awesome just a little bit so uh yeah each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn play ancestral recall on your turn that's or on your opponent's turn that's cute you get to draw one card off of it and then twice you can use the minus to uh impulse sort of all right so cool so you're playing Blighted Age over Glistener Elf, Pitchable of Force of Will. Yep. You're not wrong. <laughs> no T1 Glistener Elves here. Alright, so I will keep. KP is keep. Oh, and uh, I have my trusty coffee in its trusty mug. No fox given. So, playing fox in, uh in, uh, melee. Oh. Good luck as well. Hmm. Let's roll that down, see what my opponent has going on. Alright. Snapcaster. I'm gonna take a screenshot just in case they don't, uh, keep it. But yeah, it's Snapcaster times two. Force of Will, okay, okay, so whatever I play first, uh, we're, we're gonna have a teeny tiny little issue with Force of Will. That's, that's probably okay, I can win through Force of Will, especially with Vampiric Tutor, but it means that one instance of my combo is not going to work, until I get some Counterspell backup, which is what this is going to get. Alright, so we'll draw a card. Ooh, that's not great. That's not great. We're gonna say, um, pass turn. This is actually a matchup I'm usually okay with. It's Paradoxical Mentor, but it has no uh, removal in the main board, just counter spells. That's all. Um, I would not be surprised at all if we see a Sensei's Divining Top come here uh, right away to mess me up a little bit. Okay, so we're not holding up uh, white mana here. I mean, I, I have the deck list. I know there's no swords to plow shares in it. So, here comes Sensei's Divining Top, as you did. I'm gonna hit the, yeah, that's cool button. Uh, that's what it is. Q is the, yeah, that's cool button. Also, my opponent may not have realized, I actually, uh, before my opponent got in, I accidentally hit the space bar, which makes the default action for, um, in a turn. I can vamp here. Um, okay. 
seeing a force of will, that's interesting. If I... If I go out of my way and tutor for Blazing Shoal, which I don't think... No, I don't have to yet. I don't have to cash in that Vampiric Tutor just yet. Uh, so we're actually going to wait. Nah. <laughs> we'll just draw a card. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. That's not great. Alright. Please, please, please counter this blighted agent. Response. Alright, here we go. Okay. Now that's fine. I can live with that. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Now I know that this is a one fluster storm. I believe it's a four mental misstep deck. How many mental missteps? Three. Okay. We we usually do not care. Mental misstep is uh it, it deals with vampiric tutor though, so that is a thing. That is a thing about which I have to worry. So what can I do from here? Well, I can vamp for show and tell. Uh, my opponent's just going to counter it, but that's fine. At least if I vamp for show and tell instead of Blazing Shoal, we won't be two for twoing. It'll be a two for one in my favor. My opponent will use Forcible Blue card. Um, which I can live with. I can live with that. Eh, it's going to go on my tongue. Okay, so we're still deciding the... Uh... Okay, we got it. We got it sorted out, maybe. I say still deciding the shenanigans going on here. Alright, what you got? We're gonna let it resolve, maybe? Okay, yes, good, good. We're, we're good with that. Alright, it's gone. Gone, baby, gone. Now, that said, the, the top was spun, so presumably there's something else coming up to uh, make up for that. But, at least for now, I know that the shields are down. We're just looking at a Force of Will in the graveyard, and you can't snap cast a Force of Will without paying 5 mana for it. You can't pay the alternate cost and the flashback cost. Uh, in other words, you can't pay 2 alternate costs like that. So, uh, on my turn, I will say go. I Because this is vintage, well, I, I need to hit the button anyway, but because it's vintage, there are still things that could happen. So my opponent's spinning the top on their upkeep. Good old upkeep top. Oh wait, no, no, this is main phase because I've already drawn a card. Okay, never mind. I see it now. I see it now. Hmm. That is a little more consistency than I like, but I can live with this. So let's see. Looking through here. Hmm, two senseis dividing tops. Okay, so, if I, what we're going to do is we're going to vamp tutor here. Oh, wait, wait, let's see what happens. It's time walk. Okay, that's fine. We're okay with time walk. I can live with that. It's, it's maybe an explorer. It is an explorer because they're going to play the land here. Yep, there we go. Well, not really because they haven't gotten an extra land yet. We'll see. We'll see what comes off the uh, the next turn. All right. So go to your next turn. Fetch away what you don't like, or not. Well, maybe you do like what you have. Let's find out. They haven't drawn a card yet, so we're still in up. And there we go. Okay. So whatever it was, either they just missed it, which can happen, or they they wanted to keep that card, which is not particularly great. <laughs> That's not a place I want to be. Ooh, hello. So I haven't drawn yet. Vamp. Now something I learned just recently, despite pay to life colon, search your library for any one card, da da da, that's actually uh, been errated to no longer be part of the cost. Uh, that threw me off. I thought that this was, well, let me see. Okay, so we're good. Gonna pay the two life. Gonna find a card. Now my opponent doesn't know. There's a couple things I can do here. I can 
go for Blazing Shoal and just hope to have it. Or I can go for Show and Tell. And I think either one's acceptable. You know what? Let's just go for it now. They, I don't think they have it. Let's just go for it now. So we're going to put this on top of the deck. Um, top of deck. There we go. So that should do it. And then we will go to my turn, draw a card. Do you have it? Oh crap, yeah, it doesn't do that automatically, my bad. Well. Doesn't it put it on top of a still randomized deck? Yep. Alright, do you have it? Spin top. Alright, what you got? If it's Force of Will, you're good. Yep, you got it. Nice. Alright, so I chose incorrectly. I got two for two there. Um, watch me hit another Blazing Shoal. That's been my luck. They were balancing that top there uh, correctly. That said, my opponent has had to Force of Will twice. That's card disadvantage. Granted, Vampiric Tutor is technically card disadvantage. Um, oh, and they spun- oh, they spun the top off the top. There's a paradoxical outcome. No, it's a dig through time. Yep, that's good. That is fine. Um, resolves. No response. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. They're gonna get essentially any two cards. Essentially. So the alternative there was instead I could have gone um, and gotten show and tell and cast the blighted agent there. Uh, my opponent it seemed right to, to try to do it there when they didn't have as many cards in hand, even though they had the top, which kind of ends up being more cards. Kind of. May I see your hands? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Um... All right, there we go. All right, so we got the top back. That's a start. We're getting really close, folks. Getting really close. Oh my goodness. Hiya. Yup. We're almost there. Alright, main two. Trying to do it. Response, okay. Spinning the top. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright with you countering this. I think. It, it does improve my clock if I can keep this down. We're on the mono 1-1 one, one beatdown plan. Please, please top deck a blazing shoal. Please, for the love of God, top deck a blazing shoal. That would be nice. 
That would be so nice right about now. Alright, because the longer this goes on, my opponent having given themselves card disadvantage has been negated here with the, the dig through time. Um, I minus one myself with Vampiric Tutor, they minus one twice with Force of Will pitches, but they've gone up one with dig through time. So we're actually even, we're both at minus one. Uh oh. That's a, that's a top activation. Ooh, oh I see. Activating top in response. Alright. Here we go. Okay, so they're going to pick up one, two, three, four, draw four cards, plus they're going to draw off the Sensei's Divining Top ability. And there's our storm count. That's not great. I guess it makes sense to go off now. I only have one card in hand, so... Yeah, I guess that works. I guess that that works. Can't force a will from here, and I'm all tapped out. Hmm. Okay, this is a uh, little crowded. I wish that they would uh, separate them just a bit, but it's all right. You see what's going up. Also, um, yeah. So nothing stored yet. That is a lot of cards. Wait, wait, wait. How did you go up to that many cards? What did I, what did I miss? One, 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 one. Oh, oh, sorry, they returned the hand. I'm an idiot. Alright, cool. Play the top again? Nope, that's a soul ring. Okay. I'm real good at this, folks. I'm real good at this. Alright. So, so far, we should be at, uh, what, paradoxical? One, two, three, four, five. So, we're at six is the storm count. There's a Sensei's Divining Top, we're at seven. Alright, we're pretty close to Tendrils. If we can find Tendrils, that's game. Let me see if this deck actually runs Tendrils. Um, I don't see it. Looking for Tendrils of Agony and not seeing it. Nor am I seeing like a Cunning Wish or Burning Wish. So, I guess it's... you go into Mentor, or you find... you assemble the, uh, the Time Machine, or you get out Blightsteel, and, uh... That's pretty good, too. I'm actually not sure. I, I don't personally like running a deck like this without at least one copy of Tendrils of Agony. Um, but when you have Monastery Mentor, that works pretty well, too. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, look at all that. Hold priority? Yep, we're doing it again. Okay. Nice. Yeah, if I could have countered, I would have countered a while ago. This is absolutely a, a deck where Flusterstorm is coming in. This is one million percent. Restrict outcome and vintage. Yeah, but Karn and Lavinia are things. I mean, outcome is really, really good, but, I mean, at, at least there are these anti-meta cards. There are these cards like Lavinia and Karn that theoretically are supposed to keep this deck in check. And also, we're in a Null Rod format. Storm is yes at this point. Storm is yes. Vapor Chain and Repeal. Yes, in other words, or Chain of Vapor is what's meant, but those are cards that will deal with them. Yep. Alright. Yeah, Sensei's Divining Top hasn't received a Rata in the same way that, say, Goblin Welder has. Uh, so it's actually still perfectly functional. This card is banned in Miracles, not for this reason. Banned in Legacy, I should say. Not for this reason, but, uh, oh, we're doing it again. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear. <laughs> I 
Seems good. Yeah, it looks like I might be going down this game. Just maybe. At this point, they just need to assemble a time machine and they're good. And return Black Lotus. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna trust my opponent to do the right thing there on camera. <laughs> and draw the right number of cards. Sorry about that. Hmm. Yep, doing it again. Oh, okay. Mentor? Playing Mentor early? Yep, there's Mentor. Okay. Well, we're actually not dead yet. Oh, wait. Okay, so if they have a Snapcaster, then we're dead, because they can Snapcaster for Time Walk. And, wait, how many Snapcasters are gone? Two. Okay, and this is only a two Snapcaster deck. So we're actually not dead yet. We have a turn to get out of this. Um, they can't kill us this turn. Unle well, okay, that's wrong. They could still assemble the time machine. Um, so if they do that, then we're in trouble. Time machine, and we're just, we're Dunskies. Uh, so if they find Voltaic Key and Time Vault, then we lose. Uh, but otherwise, we get a turn. One single solitary turn. And that's all. That's all we get. That's all she wrote, folks. Okay. What else do we have? Ooh, Hercules Recall to bring them all back. Yeah, that's a thing. We're at the stage when we are casting Hercules Recall. Um, I'm I'm not particularly worried. At least Time Walk is in the yard and hello. Both snaps are exiled. Otherwise, this would be, uh, this would be not great. Yeah, only two Snapcaster mages. So it looks very unlikely that they can kill me from here. Remember, Time Vault is a one of. Um, so, well, that said, watch there be yet another paradoxical outcome, and then I'd be in quite a load of trouble. All right, what you got? What you got? Grape shot. Oh, wait, wait. What the heck? Grape shop but no tendrils. Lols. I mean, yeah. Mass keck. It's a. LOL, but World of Warcraft, the two factions can't understand each other. Never mind. Alright. Uh, game two? Alright. Gonna pack it in and say that you won because, you know, you did. You did. Alright, so get the easy ends first. Uh, Damping Sphere comes in. Echoing Truth is interesting. I think that's supposed to come in. Um, we're gonna hold off on that for just a moment. Flusterstorm comes in. Hercules Recall. Uh, Null no Rod. And then Hercules Recall. One, two, three. Those all come in. Uh, I can Hercules Recall when they cast Paradoxical Outcome to return all of them to the hand. Um, and therefore they don't get to draw Jack. <laughs> so that's always fun. Uh, if they have like a Snapcaster or a Sensei's Divining Top, they'll still get to draw something for different reasons. Um, now that I have those in, what comes out? That is the question. So, Mental Misstep is good. I still want to keep that in. See, I have so many cards to bring in, I don't have enough cards to take out, is the trick. Um, hmm. Like. So show and tell is great because it's asymmetrical. Uh, they could have their own Blightsteel Colossus. That's the only thing about which I'm worried in this matchup uh, for show and tell. Um, am I supposed to take out the worst cantrips? 
Like, I can start cutting down on superfluous stuff like Blasphemous Act. I can cut Blasphemous Act, Mystical Tutor, um, Blasphemous Act, Mystical, Mystical Tutor, Four Preordains. I think that's what I'm, I'm gonna do. Alright, so Mystical Tutor is card disadvantage, and it doesn't give me as much selection. Whoa, camera freaked out for a moment. As, um, as Vampiric Tutor. I'm gonna take out four Preordains, just because it's the worst cantrip. It doesn't let me draw myself out too well, but I'm also playing against a Mental Misstep deck. Now I have to worry about Lavinia. Actually. So Fatal Push might get might need to stay in. Fatal Push is staying in. Uh, which is a reason for keeping in Mystical Tutor, actually. Um, that is that is true. That is not nothing. Um, but that still leaves me some ways of finding it. I just won't use Mystical Tutor, I'll use Vamp or Demonic Tutor, or just draw into it. Um, hmm. I, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna try this out, but I, I honestly don't feel great about this matchup. If I'm if I'm being true, if I'm being honest with you, I am not feeling great. Um, here goes nothing. Okay, well, we have almost the whole combo. We have a land, which we can vamp for uh, Inkboth Nexus, and then go off on the next turn. Um, hopefully we'll draw another land after that, and we'll be able to use Flusterstorm back up, in which case we're probably in okay shape. Uh, so I will keep... I mean, I, I have to keep. This is a decent hand. Alright, what's my opponent saying? Milky Way is uh, spectating the match as well. Let's make sure that Milky Way can see. Alright, so cool. We're gonna start off with this, and uh, we'll pass the turn. You know, I think there's actually a case for going on the draw in this matchup. Um, I think I probably should have gone on the draw, actually. I, I, I think that I would have liked that card. It'd give me an extra card to fight over this with. Alright. Anything else? Oh. Good luck, have fun. I'm, uh, did they not have a land? Um, oh, I guess I should say no response. Just making sure, okay, so there's an academy, ooh, ooh, that's not good. Alert, alert, red alert! We're gonna do this now. We are going to do this now. We're going to say, find a card. Going to find Underground Sea. We are going to fire the ever living heck out of this Flusterstorm. So, Flusterstorm on Merchant Scroll. If nothing else, that Merchant Scroll could be going for a Force of Will. Uh, or an Ancestral Recall. Neither of which sounds good for me. It could also do Paradoxical, of course, because given their board, they don't look like they're that far off from Paradoxical. So I'm hoping that's going to cut my opponent off for a bit. That said, that's still three mana at least that they're working with. Uh, so I believe that I'm supposed to vamp here. Mmm... I'll vamp. Yeah, Vamp for Ink Moth. There we go. <sighs> Alright, this this has to work. 
Wait, don't do that. That's more like it. Put it on the top of the deck. And we will pass the turn. I think that the deck is still randomized. What I mean by that is that um, in a normal paper game, you would have to shuffle because you just looked through your deck. You know the order of the cards. But in this, because when you look through it, it's just all in alphabetical order, it doesn't actually change the, the order there. All right, so my opponent now I don't have to worry about holding up that extra mana for Flusterstorm. Um, they're spinning the top, I think. Yep, they are. Okay, cool. That's, uh, that's a thing. You better have it, buddy. Now that said, if my opponent doesn't have it, they're, they're still about to be dead to a... Well, so actually, if they don't have it, that changes things a bit. Um, if I find a land here next turn, I can go for Show and Tell, and if it works, great. And if it doesn't, ooh, time walk. That's good. I can live with time walk. Um, they, I can go for show and tell first. If it works, I get the progenitus out, and I can go on that plan. If it doesn't work, since I didn't use up progenitus in my hand, I can go for the blazing kill next turn. The reason you'd want to sequence it like that is because if I go for blazing kill this turn can't do show until next turn, even if I do have a land, because I'll need to have another big thing to toss out, a progenitus or a blightsteel. Um, okay, so we're spinning the top again. Coffee, keeping me awake, keeping me in this. We have some spectators here. I believe we have two spectators as well, plus all of you, all of you, watching me make some mistakes. Um, I imagine I've made some strict mistakes. I'm going to go back and see when I'm editing this. But by strict mistake, I mean clearly, obviously a mistake. Not, I chose the wrong, you know, branch of the road. I, I took, I should have turned left at Albuquerque. <laughs> Not like that. Wait a minute, how many lands have you played this turn, bro? Oh, wait, 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 time walk. That's right, time walk. Go. All right, jet. Okay. Cool. Um, I, I apparently have not been paying enough attention to that. I believe it was last turn, spin the top, time walk, and then... I mean, since this is the extra turn, uh, they played a land, fetch to get what was off the top of their deck, you know, get it out of the way, and then they're spinning again. So this Blazing Shoal is not likely to resolve. Given that, if I find another land, I'm going to go on the show and tell plan. Um, because it's likely enough that they're going to be able to counter this Blazing Shoal, that I don't want to lose the Progenitus and therefore lose the show and tell plan. In order for Tinker to be turned on, I either need to find a, uh, I either need to find a Mox in here, um, or Black Lotus, uh, if I want to get rid of the Ink Moth Nexus, uh, or I need to have two lands so that I can animate Ink Moth and still have the three for Tinker. Um, now what do we have? Okay, we uh, untapped Academy. We're uh, we're not doing whatever we were going to do. We're not doing that. All right, so that's one, two, three. Mentor. Show me Mentor. It's it's white mana, so Mentor's not out of the picture. That is a Tinker. Ooh. Let me let me think. Thinking. No response. Going to get Blightsteel. Probably. It could be Key or Time Vault, but it's probably Blightsteel because they have neither of the other pieces. 
So you'll notice that there's a Voltaic Key 1 and a Time Vault 1. Yep, there's Blightsteel. Okay, so at this point, if, if I can find another land, well, okay, okay, that's that's wrong. So there's no top anymore. Top is gone. We're preordaining here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I think we have to go for Blazing Shoal. Um, Progenitus really just stalls the game against Blightsteel. Um, that's unfortunate, but that's true. Progenitus just makes basically makes it where Blightsteel has a ten-turn clock on us. All right, let's see what we get. Got there. Got there. Yep, okay, we got there. We got there. All right. All right. <laughs> it turns out we didn't need it, but we got there. So sideboard. All right. So now... Now that we're in game three, uh, how do we want to do this? So, my opponent is probably going to take the play. So, Echoing Truth is interesting, and Energy Flux is interesting. Energy Flux is almost certainly too slow for this matchup. Uh, especially now that I'm going to be on the draw. Doesn't really hurt me, but it's just is probably too slow for not enough. Remember that my opponent can go off all in one turn, where energy flux just doesn't matter. So energy flux in this matchup is a I have nothing better to bring in card. And I have other cards to bring in. Echoing Truth is actually looking kinda nice, kinda spicy here. Echoing Truth can bounce the tokens because they're all named Monk. Um, and it can also just bounce other things, Blight Steel, for instance. So Echoing Truth might be worthy of coming in. I don't want to overboard, but let's see what could come out. So we could take out Getaxium Probe. I really don't like that, though. I would like to know what my opponent has going on. Uh, so Getaxium Probe is hard for me to say no to. Mental Misstep probably has to stay in. Sensei's Divining Top, Soul Ring Mana Vault, uh, Ancestral Recall, Preordained Ponder Brainstorm. There's just enough cards that Mental Misstep hits. I can't take it out. No rod obviously gets to stay in. Wait, how, didn't I have another no rod in here? Oh no, I only have one in this list. That's right, it's, it's the sideboard one. That's all. Um, I have taken out the fatal push for a main board no rod, which is what I should have done for this tournament, but fatal push is there for Lavinia, uh, which is in, I am positive. <laughs> I would assume. Um, hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't know. So, maybe Echoing Truth for Fatal Push? It's a little more expensive, but Fatal... They, they can serve the same function. I can Echoing Truth a Lavinia. That's, that's probably what's going to happen. So, Fatal Push out, Echoing Truth in. Alright, we're going to try it. Echoing Truth can deal with more cards. You'll be on the play? Oh, yep. Okay, cool. Got it. Already got it. You too. Alright, cool. So we're gonna see what seven cards we have. See what God hath wrought. Um... I mean... Mox Land. Echoing Truth. Demonic Tutor, Show and Tell Blighted Agent. Yeah, I, I'll call that a keep. I will call that a keep. Okay, um, we're dead to turn one. Reveal all once. I'll, I'll keep it revealed. I'll keep it revealed. Okay, what you gonna do? They've already drawn their card, it seems. Because they're back to seven. Um... Yep, there we go. Fair enough. <sighs> Folks, um... 
This hand is a little less scary for them when they know what's coming, unfortunately. Oh, my ear. So, um... Since they already know, and they know that the gates are down, maybe I'm supposed to, instead of doing Blighted Agent here, maybe I'm supposed to detutor. Hmm. See, because I'm only going to draw one card, and if that card's not Force of Will... Okay, cool. We got it. Oh. Huh. Okay. So we'll draw. Oh. Well. Okay. Um, we can't play the Ink Moth and the Mots and do Demonic Tutor. And if I play the Ink Moth, it gives my opponent a big bright neon light saying, coast is clear, coast is clear. Um... Obviously, we're going to play the mocks. I... I can't... I can't do it, folks. I have to... So, they don't have any mocks in yet, so they're probably not going to do a paradoxical kill. If they had a mox, they probably would have played it, unless they're holding back. Which is possible, um, but I think I'm supposed to take a turn off. Haha. Uh -huh. Think- oh my goodness. Thinking. Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, have that final sip of coffee to get me through this. Oh my goodness. By sip, I mean gulp. Gotta unlock that 200 IQ. Okay, once again, thought process. If I play the Ink Moth, they know the coast is clear and I can't use D-Tutor. If I play the Ink Moth, then I have to either play the Blighted Agent or hold up Echoing Truth. Um, if I do that, I would have to do Demonic Tutor next turn, and I probably won't have enough mana to go and kill them next turn anyway. So we're not doing Ink Moth. Um, so we're going to play this, fetch, go to 19, and we're going to get an unknown card here, I believe. I believe what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to cash in this D-Tutor here. If nothing else, it converts it converts Demonic Tutor uh, into a wild card that they don't know. Uh, things I can go and get from here. I can get Force of Will, just to keep myself afloat. KK, okay. Force of Will is okay. Mental Misstep is okay. I can also go for Ancestral Recall. That's not a that's a, not a bad play. It gives me quite a few cards. Um, so the the big guns here are we can do Progenitus so that we can do a Blazing Kill in two turns. Two turns. Yikes. We can do Ancestral and hope that we get a Progenitus or another way to find one. Um, and we can do Force of Will to protect ourselves for a turn. And we can do Black Lotus. But Black Lotus, I don't think, does enough here for us. Um, I mean, Black Lotus into Show and Tell would be nice if I actually had, rather than Blazing Shoal, if I had Progenitus. That'd be, that'd be a thing. Um... I'm going to do Ancestral Recall. 
It is a mental misstep deck though, so this this can come back and bite me. So if I'm wrong, I am oh, you know what we could also do damping sphere. Damping sphere is a little cute though. Um It's a little cute. The opponent can still win through it. Oh jeez, what the heck? What am I supposed to do? Folks. Folks, I'm gonna mess this up. I know I'm gonna mess this up. Whatever I do is gonna be the wrong answer. Like, I don't even... I don't even know. Um... Alright. When in doubt... Alright, we're just gonna do it. Unfortunately, that's probably the level 1 play. That's probably what my opponent thinks I'm going to get. If, the, if they know I have Blazing Shoal, and they know I have Blighted Agent, uh, Progenitus seems like the obvious answer. And so I'm probably playing right into what they would like to do. I probably should have gotten, if I'm being honest, I probably should have gotten Ancestral Recall. I don't think my opponent can kill me this turn, and Recall is about- oh god, well, here we go. Okay, no, we made it, we made it. Okay, so this is weird. Um, what I'm going to do here, since I can't kill the opponent anyway, and I already have the Blighted Agent, I don't need to go off here. I don't even, I don't need to cast a uh, Blighted Agent. I'm just going to pass the turn and hold up Echoing Truth. All right, so EOT. Or this could be upkeep. In in uh, older formats, you often, it doesn't matter now because they're going at full mana either way, but in older formats, you can do it on your uh, upkeep instead so that you can untap so you have the maximum amount of mana to fight a counter war. But that matters more when, say, Stifle is a card. It's not a thing right now. This looks like a flood. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna draw. That's pretty good. Okay, so Flusterstorm is a card in my opponent's deck. Okay, see if they want to fight over this Black Lotus. So I'm going to try to go Black Lotus, Show and Tell. Um, if, if the Show and Tell works, I have a Progenitus. If it doesn't work, I'm going to Blazing Shoal them. But once I go for show and tell, they're gonna know. They're going to know. Alright. What did you bring to class? Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa now. <laughs> Whoa now. <laughs> We're forcing that. Alright, three cards left. They could have hard cast Force of Will. Like, you've got to know. They, they have to know what's going on here. Because I went for show and tell, that's a pretty clear indicator. Okay, they got there. They had the Flusterstorm. Why am I hopeful for my opponent? Alright, let's see. Yeah, we've got uh, Black Lotus, show and tell, Force of Will, Blazing Shoal, Flusterstorm. <laughs> We're, we got there. Unfortunately, they got there. They had it. Man, they had it. Alright, um, just the one then.
All right. So because I didn't cast the Blighted Agent and they see all the cards in my hand, it's really stinking clear I'm holding up Echoing Truth. Like, obviously. Uh, we're gonna go back to my turn. Untap. Draw a card. Ooh, what's that? Huh. Huh. <sighs> I think I'm supposed to ponder here. Interesting. That is that is quite the uh, the mental misstep there. Hmm. Where's the uh, thinking? There we go. That's faster. That's faster. Okay, so obvious it's obvious what I'm thinking about. Do I need to hold this up? I think that the answer is no. Um, I think that I actually can... Because my opponent's not likely to kill me this turn. And they're at one, so if I play the Blighted Agent here, I'm going to put them on a three-turn clock. You know, three for three turns. So if they drop, say, like a Tinker Blightsteel, I've got Echoing Truth. Um... We're gonna go to my turn. All right. All right. That's it. Last turn. All right, caffeine, don't you wear off on me. Oh, please get there. Please get there, deck. You're, you're so close. You're so... <gasps> okay, okay. What you got? What you got? What do you have? You've got to have it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are we going to get there off of the beat down plan here? All right. All right. Um. Yeah, that's okay. Flusterstorm. Have the Flusterstorm. Oh, sorry. <gasps> oh my goodness! My heart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh that, felt, that felt so good. What'd you have? Oh. oh. Did you draw a force of will that turn? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I sure did. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Jeez. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay, okay, so if they went that turn, they return the Voltaic Key Black Lotus, draw two cards. Um, let's see, they have one card left, so presumably Mental Misstep. Um, well, oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah, okay, so they have Key, so then they Tinker into Time Vault and go off from there. Had a Misstep, would have drawn into Tinker Vault. Oh no. Oh no. I did, um, let's see, how did I sideboard? Minus 4x preordain. Minus 1x fatal push. 
minus one X. What was the last card I took out? It was a uh, mystical. Oh no no, there were two two cards. Uh, minus one blasphemous act. Minus one mystical tutor. For game three, I brought in. Ooh, hello. Uh, Damping Sphere, Echoing Truth. Oh, what else came in? Uh, 3x Hercules Recall. I'm sorry, you already know, and I, it, I'm sure it looks great to just see the top of my head, uh, but it's kind of hard for me to type. And uh, here we go. Let's try this. Um, the other cards were were. Let's look through the deck real quick. Find a card. Um, hmm. Let's see, the other cards. Oh, Null Rod. And what was the last one? So there's our Null Rod. And... Oh, something that's already come in, apparently. Or not. And one other. Damping Sphere, Echoing Truth, 3x Hercules Recall, Null Rod, and one other. And for the life of me, what was that last card? What was that last? Oh, Flusterstorm. That that's the one. Yeah, the Flusterstorm was uh was not mainboard. That's a sideboard card. Doing its thing. Putting in the putting in work. Whew! Counter that mental misstep. <laughs> I mean that uh mis Merchant Scroll, there we go. Other other M card. Uh Let's see. That was a close set and a fun one. That was fun. Let me know if you'd like to play... Ooh, hello. Sometime. I'd be down with that. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Yet yeah, Lavinia? Oh, uh, hello. Hello. Touchscreen. Touchscreen Y. Minus one cruise. Makes a Narset, Twister, Hurt Recall, and two Lavinian Flusters. Yeah, Flusterstorm is, is weird. Um, it, it works. It definitely works, as you just saw there. Um, Flusterstorm is a little weird in this match because I can just let the first spell I cast that turn be something like a, a Blazing Shoal, and I'll typically have enough mana, unless it's Ink Moth I'm going off with, to pay for it. So if it's like turn two, Blighted, turn one or two, Blighted Agent, and then the next turn, Blazing Shoal, I'll have enough mana to survive a Fluster Storm. But it's still something you have to do. I'm a blue deck, I'm, I have a lot of cantrips. You, you kind of do what you have to do. Uh, and taking out the Preordains was weird, but I think it made sense in the context of this deck. Instead of having the, the cards to draw into, the answers. I just had more answers. Alright, and, uh... GG's. Uh, good luck going forward. Oh, oh, my heart. My heart. Maybe it's the cafe. No, it's fine. Alright. Play most formats. Thank you. Alright. Take care, Magic Community. I ain't afraid of no ghost pepper. <laughs> That's what this shirt says, in case you were wondering the whole time. I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>